At Cruise Planners in Hope Sound, John Morgenthaler says things had been positively buoyant. Insanely busy here. It was probably next year is already our best year. He'd traveled as far as Greece and Turkey since ships began taking passengers again last summer. Everybody was itching to get away. They really just wanted to go do something. They've been locked up for too long. But last week, a personal trip to Antarctica was canceled at the last minute, and major lines like Royal Caribbean and Norwegian began paring back their schedule. Look like in February and March. When the entire cruise industry initially shut down for COVID, Morgenthaler became a handyman to make ends meet. The Hope Sound Chamber recently recognized him for his ability to recover in the pandemic. As long as everything goes the way it looks like it's going, we should be good this year, I hope. While some of his clients are delaying their trips, he's telling all of his clients what life is like on board right now. Our different cruise lines each have their own mandates. Some of them you have to wear a mask all the time. Some of them you just wear a mask when you're indoors. While ship guidelines have changed, Morgenthaler believes the cruise lines have a much better handle on COVID. They didn't know what to do with everybody. They now know how to take somebody off the ship, send them home, or keep them quarantined on the boat. There's plenty of open cabins for them to do that. In a statement, the American Society of Travel Advisors added, cruising is no more responsible for the spread of the Omicron variant than travelers from Southern Africa were at the outset of the current crisis. Morgenthaler says he's hoping to be less handy this year and that 2022 is a year for smooth sailing. In Hope Sound, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5.